Hello and welcome to your channel AWS Cloud Bytes. I'm your host Pavesh Kumar. Today we are going to talk about how to create and assume roles in AWS. Let's look at the objectives. Create an S3 policy and role. Configure IAM for a user to allow assume role. Verify various accesses. It's lab time. Let's begin. I have logged on to AWS console. The objective of this lab is to create an S3 policy and role and configure IAM for a user to assume a role. We'll verify all these accesses in this particular lab. Let's look at IAM. I will open IAM and S3 in two different tabs. Under IAM, you will find user groups. Let's look at the user groups. We have two user group, admin and developer. Admin has admin one, two, three, and it has permissions. Amazon S3 full access. If you look at the other group, which is developer, they have one, two, three devs and Amazon S3 full access permission. If I log in saying user dev one, let me see if I can log in using dev one. Let me go to the URL, console URL, and try to log in using dev1. Let me copy the password. So dev1 and password, and I'm logged in. I want to show the access S3, and you can see there are four different buckets. I open this bucket in a new tab. It shows me information. There is no object in the bucket. That is OK. Let me open the app config one. These two are app config. This is customer data. We want to restrict customer data. So you can see it has access to app config as well as the customer data. Now let's go back to the main Chrome browser. To create a policy, we'll go to policy and click on create policy. We'll choose a service, say S3, because we want to restrict on S3. And all S3 actions, you should not be choosing that in a production environment. Over here, I'm going to say any of this account for everything except the bucket. So for bucket, I'm going to say add ARN. Go to S3 tab that we have. I'll copy this and paste it over here. There shouldn't be any space. I'll add another for the second app config. I'll paste this. We have two errands for the bucket. Click on next. No need to give a tag. I'll say S3 restricted policy. And it has full access, but to two buckets. OK, so you can see S3 restricted policy has been created. If you look at the policy, let me bring it up. So you, you can do anything, list, get, put, and you have all the resources, but you have two buckets that you can play with, these two app config. Let's go and create a role now. So I'll create a role, click on the role, create a role. We'll choose AWS account and you can Say this account, I'll copy this number, account number, and click next. We are going to search for the S3 restricted policy, which is over here itself. We don't have to go anywhere. And that's it. Click next. And in the role, I can give S3 restricted role. You can see the JSON block. This is so this was account number. You can even see over here. 
2352-0109-5218 and it allows you to assume a role and this is the policy that you have applied you can go ahead and create a role so the role has been created and you can see the role let me search for s3 you have restricted role account number the one that we mentioned and then you have this s3 s3 restricted policy applied on that with these two buckets app config prod1 prod2 now we are going to do some changes we're not going to replace at a user group level because that will impact overall developers in this group what i want to do is i want to attach it to a single user so i'll go to dev1 and remove amazon s3 full access just to show how it works and i will add permission i'll attach a policy directly because i don't want to attach it to the full user group so s3 restricted policy is the policy that we created and we created a role on top of it so i'll just apply the s3 restricted policy and we can review you can see now this user dev1 has this s3 restricted policy if i go back to the window that i logged in with user dev1 in a opera window and i opened this customer data earlier as well as the app config if i refresh the app config there shouldn't be any issue because that is what access you have and if i refresh the customer data you can see that you have insufficient permission to list objects which means you are not allowed to look into this particular bucket but you are allowed to look at this bucket log out from this particular user and go back to the sign in page i'm gonna close these two so i'm on signing page what i'm going to do is i'm going to log in as dev3 and let me copy the password what i want to show is that after the change on s3 how does it impact other users in the developer group so i am in the customer data and in app config you can see that dev3 is not impacted because we didn't change the overall group so it can still look at all the items under this all the objects under this bucket let me go back to the original chrome browser and we are going to create another policy i'll click on create policy and this time i'll say sts the sts and under under access level under right if i expand it you can say assume role and under resources we can specify s3 or is restricted role I think that was the role name. Let me confirm. I'm going to apply this role. Okay. Let me copy this. I'll add this ARN. so we chose sts to assume role and this is the role we click on add erin added this role we can just add tags i don't want to add any tag right now and assume s3 policy and we can create this policy 
it's still creating now as part of our next step we are going to go to the user group developer group and permissions I'm going to remove AWS S3 full access from the developer group which means if I refresh this the dev3 and dev2 they shouldn't have any access let me refresh both of them so this is the consumer data and this is the app config prod one so they don't have the user dev2 and 3 don't have access let me go to the policies I just created the policy where we have this s3 restricted policy in assume s3 policy if you go to this assume s3 policy you can see there is a assume role a sts service type and role name s3 restricted role policy usage attach i want to attach it to dev3 attach policy now you can see that dev3 has access to this policy which is assume s3 policy and the user can now access s3 restricted role by assuming a role let's go to dev3 now i'm on opera browser now i will go to copy the account number of my user 3 and then let me refresh to see how it works after the removal of s3 uh, access like aws s3 aws full access i'll click on it and click on switch role we can say switch role account number the current account number in the role that we want to switch to is s3 restricted role and click on switch so user assumed a role that we gave you can look at the policy that we created so we created an assume role policy that allowed user to assume role using the sts service and the role was s3 restricted role so we passed s3 restricted role in s3 restricted role if you can see it doesn't allow you to access customer data still but if i reload the other bucket which is app config should show you that it has access you can see there is no error on this while there is an error on this for listing of objects so that is it you can actually come back switch back to your original dev3 role if i switch back you'll see i still have error on this and if i reload because it logged out can see your dev3 and you don't have permission on this also yeah that is the end of this particular lab hope this was helpful let me know if i can answer any question thank you this is the end of this lab please share your comments and suggestions thank you for watching if you like the video please like share subscribe and press the notification bell icon for future updates this is your host Bhavesh Kumar signing off thank you